Okay, welcome back to the final part of Fast Lane. Let's still see what we've got to finish off tonight. Of course, we have the main event. We have the two out of three stages of hell. Of course, starts off with a tag match, then a table tag. And if we go to a third round, then it'll end in a steel cage match. But at first, we have that women's championship match Becky Lynch versus Tiffany Stratton. Okay. Oof. Without further ado, let's get this match up underway. Thank you, Mike Rome. It's been a long build up to this one. Been going for a while. It's been going since I want to say the night after Money in the Bank, but I could be mistaken. With uh, Becky was too happy about Tiffany winning that uh, women's Money in the Bank briefcase. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, <laughs> oh. Hell broke loose in a promo from it. And, oof. Yeah, it definitely was after Money in the Bank now, now I remember. Yeah. And Tiffany said some things that she probably shouldn't have said, especially to someone the likes of Becky Lynch. He gets very fired up and is very well known for it. Which then led to Becky wanting a match with T Tiffany, which didn't happen, uh, which hasn't happened until SummerSlam. Uh, so it led up to it, sorry. And Tiffany was ended up getting a role of victory over Becky Lynch. Which wound up Becky Lynch even more than obviously Tiffany went on to win that women's championship later on in the night. Uh, and then Becky had a chance to fight Tiffany at payback, but she lost out against Rhea Ripley. And so then Tiffany sets her on a, a very long journey to get to here. Well, tough journey at least. By She basically had to compete every week, which, you know, Ilya Dragunov does that by choice. <laughs> but uh, Ilya Dragunov competes in one-on-one -on -one matches every week, uh, for the most part, yeah. That case, Becky Lynch. She started off with a two-on-one handicap match against Fabulous Fire. Then went on to face seven other women in a women's battle royal match, an eight-one battle royal match. Then the following week, three other women in a fatal four-way steel cage match. And to end it on, it was some weird match with Rhea Ripley where there's interference and weapons were allowed, but count outs and rope breaks were still things. So it was kind of like half an ODQ match. It was like some DQ or some holds a bar or whatever. You know what I mean? Uh, well, Tiffany's choice, I guess. Uh, and Becky Lynch was able to pull through each and every one of them, especially oh, on top of Becky. Uh, sorry, Tiffany in getting in an interference in that Rhea Ripley match. And still Becky Lynch walked out on top, finally able to defeat Rhea Ripley. And it's finally now giving her up this opportunity at that Women's, women's Beauty Championship. And a rematch against Tiffany Strand here tonight. I'm not sure if the bookers were like, we'll give Becky some chance to catch her breath a little bit. She'll have to wait. She gets away until the entire end of the show instead of wrestling like match one or something. Because she's been through hell to get here. And now she's here. She doesn't want to fumble it. We know how crafty Tiffany is. So. Becky's definitely have to keep her aware of all, but I see Tiffany does do. I have a feeling Becky Lynch might explode out the box here. So, got to be quick on the feet. Yeah. Just need to get the formalities out of the way with first. And then the title over the final title match of the night. So good to good and Let's get it on, shall we? Oh, Becky Lynch with her game face looking ready. Tiffany Stratton looking ready also. Maybe a little nervous though, and maybe she should be as Becky Lynch firing out of the gate. Like I guys said I expected her too. Jeez. <laughs> Becky Lynch now firing away all these forearms at Tiffany. But Tiffany's got to fight back, and she has done with a sidewalk slam at Becky. I would say maybe, I don't know, Tiffany does feel like she maybe had the slight, like, Powerhouse, not powerhouse advantage necessarily, but you know, at least maybe a slight uh, increase in. Uh, yeah, I'd venture Tiffany has the strength advantage, and I venture she has the agility advantage, but Becky has the the heart advantage, you know, that kind of thing. Um, there's Becky, there's Tiffany's strength right there, sorry, just sending Becky Lynch over the ropes. Also, I'd argue that Becky has the veteran experience over Tiffany Stratton. And I would be right in saying that. <laughs> I'm sure Seth Rollins would... Uh, uh. Well, actually, no. I was going to say something about him 
uh, Finn Balor train, training Becky Lynch, but then it's Becky's his wife at the same time, so it's a bit of an iffy one, but you know. <laughs> Anyways, oh, the roll up unsuccessful from Tiffany and Becky Lynch. Just lets go of it. She doesn't want to roll a victory. She wants damage done to Tiffany. You know, Tiffany getting out of harm's way. Maybe played possum a bit there. But that's not worked to her favor for too long. Tiffany trying to fight back. Oh, no, trying to escape, maybe. I don't know. Tiffany trying to fight. Oh, we just chugged Becky. But Becky's not going to go down that easy without a fight. But Becky now. Jeez, Tiffany, she's trying. She's trying. No, Becky Lynn shoots her down. Clearly not going well for Tiffany right now. Oh, Becky, jeez. Like a nasty landing. But she's getting back to her feet already, but so is Tiffany. And Tiffany, no, Becky counters that one. Oh, Becky to the top. But Tiffany's there. What's going for? Oh, jeez, I don't quite know what Tiffany was expecting there. But it did not go away, whatever it was. Becky now running the ropes. Leg drop. Look at her again. She's been counted this a lot. To, no, count, been counted by that. It's been counted a lot. I gotta get the words out. But Tiffany's counted again. A oh, what a spine buster covers Becky. One kick out by Becky. Tiffany now kicking Becky in the midsection there. Tiffany very proud of herself. And now keeping on the offense. She's daunting a decent bit through her too. I wouldn't be doing that with Becky Lynch, Tiff. She's going to build up that fire just like so. But Tiffany. Definitely. I mean, she hasn't really wrestled in a month, but Becky Lynch has been battered and bruised for the past month. So, sure, maybe Becky Lynch is, like, as sharp as a sword or whatever. But <laughs> she's also going to be as... I'm trying to figure out some kind of metaphor or kind of description here, but, you know, she's going to be bad as well. At the same time, with Tiffany, she may not be quite as sharp, the sharpest tool between the two of them, maybe. Uh, but it's not like she hasn't wrestled in like six, seven months, you know. And, and she did fight Becky a little bit at the end of the end of SmackDown, but geez, Becky just set it Tiffany to the barricade consistently there, geez. But you know what I mean. But well, Tiffany's going to be at a hundred pretty much. But Becky Lynch might not be. But Becky Lynch looking to even it up a bit there, geez. Oof. Maybe Becky Lynch knows this, that I was saying, that how bad she is. I imagine she would know it, being one of the two. And making sure she wanted to do the damage to Tiffany, but also being very aware that Tiffany is a, a lot healthier than Becky Lynch is right now. Yes. Becky Lynch getting back into the ring. Looking to put an end to it. Her man won earlier tonight. Could she win it? No, Tiffany getting out of the way. Her man did not win tonight. Will she win tonight or will she lose just like him? Who knows? Anyways, Becky will get into the corner now. Tiffany, oh, gets the forearm. Oh, I think she's looking for that core screw strand. Boom! To Becky Lynch. Covers. One. Two. Kick out by Becky Lynch. Still got some fight left in her. And I'm not surprised. It's Becky Lynch, the Irish last kicker, the man. He's Tiffany just dropping down on Becky. Becky knows in too good of a position there. Oh, maybe it was playing possum. No, Tiffany, the jawbreaker. Got to stay alive as long as she can. I was looking for that. Oh, no. Becky fired out of it. Becky. No, Tiffany catches the foot. Forearm and forearm again. And Tiffany now. Looking for a moon top. There we go. Nice to hit. Going for the cover. Oh, Becky Lynch, jeez. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Tiffany. A little joke about that, maybe. I don't know. Go back in for another bit. No, Becky Lynch got out of the way of that one. And Becky. Send a Tiffany to the corner. What's this? Body slam to Tiffany. Becky Lynch now looking for a leg drop. Maybe yes. It does so below. Tiffany gets out of the way and a drop kick to the head. Jeez. Becky Lynch has taken some rough shots here recently. You know, don't forget, Tiffany's been bad on the outside too. She needs a second. Both women basically getting good at the same time now. Well, Tiffany's slightly faster. Chopping away Becky, the forearm. 
Four of them again. Oh, Becky counts, catches that one. Four of them own. Takes down Tiffin one. Becky still going to kick in away. Oh, well, quite know what that was. Well, I think Becky got enough connection, but maybe not now. I was going to say she hit Tiff. Uh, Tiffany ended up recovering away, which is more the fact that Becky was positioned the wrong way. I don't know. But Tiffany... Oh, yeah, again, we're looking for another corkscrew Stratton bomb. To Becky Lynch. Covers. One. Two. Kick out by Lynch. Still staying alive in this matchup. Tiffany now. Going for a springboard. Swanton. No. Still up. Lynch gets out of the way. Oh, the chops. Becky Lynch go wild now. The chop block. Oh, the ropes again. Leg drop. It finally gets that leg drop combination, I believe. That was the first objection. He probably got it. Going for the cover off it now. Finally getting one. Two. Kick out by Tiffany Stratton. I don't know, I don't know where these accents come from sometimes. They just randomly come up. It's part of my charm, I guess. <laughs> anyway, Becky just going mad round now. Tiffany in close home there to the outside. Oh, running elbow drop takes down on Tiffany. He's on running out of breath here. Becky. It's Tiffany. No, Tiffany firing off Becky now. Tiffany sending Lynch into the stairs. And Tiffany gets back into the ring. They say Tiffany, the uh, champion's advantage, she can win by countdown and still keep the title. I mean, it'd be a win for her anyway, so I can be much of discordancy. Jay's Tiffany Strand. Going to Becky Lynch, expect knowing full well that Becky Lynch is getting back into the ring. Becky's still making the climb to her feet. Still, Becky, no, Tiffany gets out of the way of that one. I definitely feel like I'm seeing a, a, definitely a lot of phases in this matchup. The wear and tear has been done to Becky Lynch over the past month. Well, it's month worth. It started at the start of last month. No, yeah, no, it started off last month and it ended. This is the start of the next month. First week still. Oh, Tiffany. No, no, Becky got out of the way of that one. And Tiffany's landed on the outside. That's not good. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, Tiff, Becky trying to run for her. Tiffany's also got out of the way of that now. And Tiffany. Being proud. Another moon souls to Lynch on the outside, keeping her down. Tiffany now sending Lynch back into the ring. Now oh, kicks the midsection again. Oh, what's the plan here? Oh, I don't know about Becky Lynch getting them over to the midsection. Kicks the cut. Finally, a manhandle slam to Tiffany Strand. Center of the ring. Cover hugs the leg. One. Two. Kick out by Tiffany Strand. Oof. Becky Lynch now picking up Tiffany. Forearm down. Stop to the knee. Kick to the back. Strikes to the back of the head. Becky Lynch going wild here. The uppercut now. Stop it away now. Tiffany. No, Becky. Shoulder block. Becky Lynch putting up the offense, back up. Look at the do the damage to Tiffany Stratton, using the, doing some damage to the arm now. Jeez. And again. I don't forget, these are the only two women to be able to be at Ray Ripley in one on one competition this season. In fact, I'm pretty sure they're the only two that have actually beaten her in general. So, it proves how huge this match is as Becky Lynch now breaks down Tiffany Stratton for a disarm her. Will Tiffany lose her arm and lose that title along with it? Beck Tiffany's legs are going crazy. Must be in a world of pain. Becky Lynch holding on, tugging on tight. Tiffany maybe look like she's fading. No, she's getting out of it. Tiffany now. Oh, looking for a roller. She's trying to escape anything. And Becky Lynch. Oh, crossbody. Kind of thing. Avalanche, I don't know, whatever. Kicks the midsection again. And Tiffany just kicking at the ribs of Becky there. And Tiffany now. Moonsault. And Becky, no, Tiffany. Oh, look for a pre-exposure ever to Becky Lynch. 
He's cut box the leg. One, two, three. Tiffany Strand, still your women's champion. I think it'd be fair to say what could have happened to Becky Lynch if she wasn't she didn't go for all those four grueling latches to get here. And Tiffany had basically had the month off. Would would the things have gone differently? Maybe. But Becky Lynch agreed to it. And Tiffany Tiffany Stratton capitalised. And is still your women's champion. Oh. But anyways. Congratulations to Tiffany Stratton on another huge win and another successful title defense here in, in, in WA. Anyways, three stages of hell main event comes tonight. Of course, starts over a tag match. Then a table tag match. There's two guaranteed matches, but if it ends up being one or one after that, we go to a steel cage match for the final stage of hell. Oh. So, is this technically the main event? It technically is, but you could argue there's two or three matches, so... Is the second match the main event, or if it goes to a further third, the third one a main event, or is it considered as a main event as a whole? I think that's a good uh, standpoint. Like, you know, how does it go? I don't know. That comes first, the challengers dressed in black and white. Yeah, again, maybe going off those checkered pattern colours, especially with uh, Xavier Woods' bandana looking thing. I don't know, but also maybe it's a bit more of a serious tone that these two. Uh, looking uh, for a fight, though they've got the pancakes and the trombone, so maybe they're still looking for a bit of a. They're still the new day, but maybe they're feeling a bit more serious here tonight, and they want to get the job done against Grayson Waller and Austin Theory. Who knows? I'm not. I'm not that designer. I can only assume that things are getting serious for these two now. And it is for these four teams, of course. Oh, sorry, two teams. These four competitors. Of course, the loser of said three stages, three stages of hell tonight will get suspended until after the Royal Rumble. That means no Royal Rumble spots, no tag team matches, no time on the card, no nothing, no Survivor Series defending for their teams, but it's going to be huge for whichever team could walk out with the victory here tonight. And now we have to bring out the New Day's opponents. And these two, they love that kind of spot. Like That's why they come out separately. Give them all that extra screen time. Yeah, there, there he goes, struggle to fit on the one side of a corner, yeah, alone on a camera for the entirety of their entrance, you know. <laughs> the outcome is first, the Aussie icon, Grayson Waller. We saw him win uh, the match on the main event of Raw, the past Raw, against Kofi Kingston to give uh, A Town Down Under the final choice. Uh, the, the third match choice for uh, for this three stages of hell match. Of course, eight times under and New Day got to choose their, their uh, the match one and match two respectively. Uh, it ended up being decided that New Day's first choice, which was the tag match, would get first, and then the tables match, which was eight times down under's choice, would be second, and then eight times down under yet again chose the third match, like I just said, and they chose steel cage match because. The New Day, they want they want to be able to say that they can beat Eitan and in a regular tag match, which is understandable that they haven't hasn't been done yet by New Day, so they want to be able to do that. So I respect and understand why they want that. It's only necessarily going straight into all the chaos that these three stages of hell matches could be. And then we heard Eitan and say that they wanted to beat New Day in the, in a match that they cost them for the more tag titles being a steel cage. And then I'm assuming the table matches. You know, you know how table matches can go. It's it's a very uh, what's the word? It's a finicky match. To say the least. It's still no DQ, but it's not strapped in a cage. But it's uh, it's not exactly a match where you've got to pin somebody. You know what I mean? So I'm sure maybe they tend to look, try and look for an easy uh, way into into match three if they if they don't win match one. At least try and get themselves back, but. Just as easily as you can win that kind of match, you can also just as easily lose it. But they've got to get through this match first. But this match in the table match is confirmed to be happening. It's just this steel cage match. If they go 1-1. One, one. So either if 8 hand under win this and then New Day win the next. Or if New Day win this one and 8 hand under wins the next. But I repeat, if 8 hand under win both or New Day win both, we will not be getting that steel cage match. 
and all the stipulations involved, like the uh, the fact that one team will be suspended until after the Rumble, will still happen. Whether this is a two-match thing or a three-match thing, or if you consider it as one match, a two-part thing or a three-part thing, oh, Grayson Water immediately tagging in Austin Theory. Makes sense. Theory's the more well-rested one because that was a hell of a match between Kofi Kingston and Grayson Waller that I'm sure Kofi would have won if he had some backer with him uh, at ringside. Like Theory, like, like Waller did in Austin Theory. But now Woods is back on his uh, corner there. So, uh, maybe not 100%, I don't know, but I wouldn't argue Kofi Kingston is at 100% even, maybe not even Grayson Waller. So maybe Theory the, the most... Uh, 100% of the match. Jeez, what a kick. I would argue Fury is 100%. So, at least as much as we would know. So, there's that. Drop kick now. Taken downwards. I mean, both kings then. I told you, it happens way too much. I can't seem to get names right for some reason. I'm just cursed. And with his first bit of action back, and he's just been taking a combo straight down. And now Fury going right after Kofi Kingston. Oh jeez, and the clothesline. But drop kick. Woods using the arrogance of Fury, thinking he could take on two on one to his advantage. And Woods gets the kick down on Fury now. Taking it to Fury, maybe getting some of that aggression out. No, Woods was attacked backstage. We don't actually fully know if there's ever a time that they never admitted to it. <laughs> but I think all lies do point to them. Oh, and Woods gets the knee strike to Fury. And takes down Waller there. Oh, and taking down Fury. Woods proving maybe you can do two on one. You just gotta be good. <laughs> Both of them lied out. And then like a train there, jeez. Woods now. Oh no, Fury rolls out of the way. Woods kicking Fury now. Waller's back up though. And what's this by Woods? Oh, Jeez! Uh, one of Waller's own moves, sorry, Fury's own moves, sorry. Talking to Waller, takes down Waller. That's how I'm liking the fashion choices tonight, I don't know why. I'm liking the colours. Oh, well, I don't quite know why that's supposed to be right. What's the figure trying to stop on the back of the leg, give him a bit of a dead leg. <laughs> Fury, looking to maybe. Actually, dead leg, so anyway, giving this his leg lock. I'm not quite sure what kind of leg lock it is. Achilles heel? I don't know, I'm not the wrestler here, I'm the commentator. So maybe I should know, I'm doing play-by-play -play ankle lock, so maybe I should know at least something. Anyways, Woods looking for a knee shot to the back like he tried earlier, but O'Fury yet again getting out of the way there. We nearly had every combination, we just need uh, Woods and Waller at least. The W and other things, you know. And we're just about to get there now. <laughs> Speak it into existence and it will be manifested. That's a new saying. And he's walled out, sending Woods over the ropes. Yes. Okay. Woods, oh, he's taunting in front of Kingston. I don't know if that's a smart idea. Woods back in. Kicks it off. Face. Oh, Woods, stay standing. Oh, so Waller went for it again, but Woods caught it that time. Elbow to the knee. Jeez, they've kind of got to collide a little bit there. Oh, Waller gets out of the way there. And the shot to the face. And now Waller looking for another shot to the face. Takes down Woods. Tagging back in theory. Feels like he's had that under control in this match so far. Well, at least this portion of it. Oh, jeez, did that. I uh, think Fury stopped the tag there. To Woods there. And Fury now looking to work on Woods even further. Oh, what a forearm. Just completely knocking the lights out of Woods momentarily, at least. And Fury now looking to be worked towards. Uh, Kings is back in the ring. Oh, strike it to. Oh, he's going for the wrong one. Fury. Oh, I'm guessing Kofi is the legal man. Covers what? Oh, Fury gets out of the way there quickly. Uh, oh, Kofi gets the job down. Oh, Kofi! Takes down. Fury, sorry, you've got to be careful there at that table. See, I'm getting the opponent. I'm calling Fury Woods now. <laughs> I'm even getting the opponents mixed up. That's not even. I don't know. Anyway, it's Kofi Kingston for a drop kick. Gets it. And Waller was looking for the tag. He did not get it. <laughs> oh no, I've got great eyesight. <laughs> anyway, it's Kofi Kingston with a splash down to Fury. Kofi. 
Centaur takes it down to Fairy. Oh, now he's going to the top rope. I don't know what he's looking for here. Oh, leg draw to Fairy. Going for the cover. Hooks the leg. Wall is in. Breaks up instantly, nearly. Pretty much. It wasn't even a one count, is what I mean by instantly. Fly's just flowing in front of my face. Jeez, go away. Anyway, it's Kofi Kingston. Going for that boom drop. Jeez. I just had like. <laughs> my eyes just been blocked by that. I can barely see what's going on from it then. It's Kofi Kingston, trouble in paradise. So Fury gets out of the way and a kick to the head. Fury now. Oh, looking to put down. You Kofi Kingston. Jeez. One. Two. Kick out by Kofi. Showing the resilience there. Showing the heart, the desire to win this match. Fury stomps the midsection. And Wall now sending Kofi into the corner. No, Kofi counters that one. Four up to the face. And for a bulldog to Fury. Tags in. Woods. Ta uh, Fury's tagged in. Uh, Grayson start off with the. Oh no. No, no, no. Lost. That, uh, doesn't matter. Fury drops. Uh, Waller drops the neon woods. I'm getting all confused there. Maybe back to somewhat working brain. Woods gets the knee strike. Waller getting back up though. <laughs> Don't know what happened to Woods there. I think he's charging up. Don't know for what is it? Oh, he gets that shot to the knee. Maybe he's actually looking at this like this time. Gets it. No, Waller gets out of the way. I thought he got it. Just because kind of walks in front of it. One walk in front of them. Uh, back body drop by Fury. Only oh, by Waller. Jeez. These names. One. No, no, even a one count. Jeez. Take it down, Kofi now. Has Waller. No, no, no. Forearm. By Woods. Elbow drop. Woods now. What's he looking for here? DDT off the second row. Of Waller. Trying to roll out of harm's way, maybe momentarily. Oh, Woods brings down the wheelbarrow face buster to Grayson Waller there. Kofi sending Waller into the corner. Tags in Kofi. Oh, I think I know what they're looking for. They're looking for the up, up, down, down to Grayson Waller. Covers. One, two. Oh, the rope break. I've just seen Waller's arm just kind of move a bit there, yeah. Jeez. That's... You expect something like... Uh, well, the kind of veteran experience of Kofi Kingston to notice something like that. Doing this for a while, he has. Over a decade in the WWE, if I'm not mistaken. Kick to the face. What's the oldest in this match, if I'm not mistaken. Not sure how much, but I know Waller's like 33, I think. Theory's about 24. 526 maybe, I don't know. I don't know how old Woods is, but I'm pretty sure he's maybe around Waller's age, maybe a little older. And anyways, Woods, Darby, Kingston, I was just saying Woods got me confused. And now, Kofi, I don't know what this was. I think he's trying to set himself up. Jeez, oh, he gets the elbow drop on Waller there. Jeez, I was not expecting that, that was mental. And now Kofi getting the kicks to Fury. Jeez, lying on that chest with no Fury. Putting a stop to that. Bredo kicks and fire back. Going to get grab Austin. It says headlock punch. Jeez. Kingston. Go. Oh. Looking for a snap suplex to Fury now. Fury, the knee, the knee drop to the leg. Sweep the legs. And Kofi, sending Waller into the corner now. He's with Fury, sorry. Fury now, locking in that leg lock again this time. Oh, Kofi Kingston. Oh, well, not Kofi, but they can tap out. And successful Kofi. There's only some chops, fist, I don't quite know. Oh, Kofi, no. Fury. He's all. Oh, Kofi, well, I think that trouble in paradise, I think he was looking for. Fury blocked it. Now tagging in Woods. Oh, what's an interesting type of chop block there. I don't know what that was, but you see Fury bleeding from the face. And that's like, God, good kick to the face. I'm sure we'll have someone staple him up in between matches. Send Woods into the corner now. 
in theory. Ten points into the road. Jeez, the discus for um covers. One, but no, Kingston breaking up fairies pin there. Jeez. Oh, Kofi with an SOS. Take it down, fairy momentarily. I'm mean, pretty sure that moves a bit more for the, the pin cover afterwards, but I don't know. Kofi take it down, Waller. And Woods sent on. The fairy. Was now middle rope. Let's look for it. Leg drop, no fairy. Get out of the way there. Sending Woods into the corner now. Woods fired back. Kicks to the knee. Will he finally hit it this time? He does! To the back of the head. Covers on Fury. One, two. Kick out by Austin Fury. Jeez, Woods. Just fighting on. This is for no Fury. Call that one. Kicks to the midsection. Oh, Barry, he's looking for that attacks here. To Xavier Woods there. Covers. One. Two. Kick out by Xavier Woods. Showing the heart that we all know he has. Oh, Woods getting out of the way that one. Oh, drops it down the wheelbarrow. Face buster. Covers. Going to block the hand of Barry there. But no, Waller gets out of that instantly. I mean, fit Waller gets him out there instantly. Kinda. Oh, Woodson knocks down Waller. I think he's seen it open him. Maybe he's looking to put an end to this. Oh, that's the Fury elbow drop. To Fury. Doing the tyrant walk in everything. Covers. One, two, three. New Day get the first win. They get point one on this match. Oof, when it's Xavier Woods getting that, that's got to feel good. Coming back and getting that but the pinfall for the team. And they can say New Day's now beaten. Eight and under in a regular tag match. But we are not over yet. And of course, a little bit of a celebration. Oof. Just for the time being. Getting a little bit of dancey old Kof Kofi's busted open too. So we've got a bit more stitching to do than just Austin Theory. Congratulations to New Day for winning the first match. As I mentioned first match because we're going on to the next match, which is a table tag match. Okay, let's get this on, shall we? Go, oh, Barry, the go, I mean, Waller. I don't know. Very fixed out right now because, of course, it's moved to tornado style. No longer tag in, tag out type rules. Uh, all four men in at once. You can see some tables sitting in. People have been stitched up. So we're already going on this. Jeez, by Waller. That's not looking good. Uh, Kofi kicks it. Oh, Kofi's fired off Fury there. I think they were looking to dissect Woods by himself. Oh, Kofi goes to his tracks in the tree of woe. But no. Uh, Kofi gets out of this. Uh, the New Day are in control of this match. I say they're just as Fury. I mean, Waller's getting out of Co uh, Woods' clutches. And Waller now helping Austin Fury. Oh, he's setting it up. Oh! Did he go for the table? I don't think he did. Oh, Woods! Oh, no, that table definitely didn't break that time. Oh, the fear goes to Kofi Kingston, but you can see what I mean. These these two are trying to get that quick win here tonight. That's what they're looking for, especially now that they are on the... They are, they are, on the, they are the point behind. They need this. To stay in this match. And to... Postponed, possibly getting suspended. I think the suspension is even kind of just partly just to, you know, just kind of distance the two teams. Oh, I don't even know what happened there. But geez, ball up. I don't know. Big boot now takes down Kingston. Oh, close line takes down ball up. Oh, I don't even, I think the team went over once down. I'm not quite sure. It was not what he was looking for, but he got that reverse bat slam on top of the table, and now Fury's the one that's been, sorry, Waters, but the one that said that they are side of a twisted neck breaker. Jeez. Now we've got now for Fury. Waller's in. 
No. Boys jumps over. Work no fill. Walk a little water. Rolls out. Both men out there. Woods. Oh, Fury gets in, but Waller does not. And Waller now take on Fury now taken down. Uh, kicks it and out cross body to the outside. Oh, so Waller seems to have escaped the clutches of Xavier Woods momentarily. And whacks him with a table. Waller, uh, Fury, sorry, taking it to Xavier Woods on the outside. Fifth kicks on the outside. Jeez. Look at it on the outside. Kofi just said Fury to the stairs. Kofi, I repeat. Kofi said. Fury to the stairs. I'm pretty sure I'm kind of just stopped watching. K to be honest, I don't know, either way. What Waller's in there, he said with two tables. He's egging on Woods. He's egging him on. Oh jeez! Jeez! Just sending Woods flying backwards, rolling up and everything. Jeez. I think Kofi gonna go check on his partner. And now he's bringing in another table. Now two men surrounding the ring a little bit. I think Fear might be hoping for Waller. I think, yeah, the other way around, sorry. Waller, boom to Woods, drop kick, oh it doesn't quite break the table though, maybe it's weakened it enough, I don't know, and Fury now, jeez, oh, Waller said go through the table, there you go, a quick win there kind of, I think the jockey might damage the table enough just to put a body down in that weird position, but I don't know, I guess it works, and there you go, Eight other than the, uh, even the playing field. In well, possibly the quickest match of the night, technically. Maybe except for that five minute challenge with Omos, but jeez. Fast match in fast lane. <laughs> Anyways. Fury and Waller walk away with a win in that one, making it 1 1. Now leading to the final match. Which is, of course, that steel cage match. Let's bring it down. So they've just done so. There you go. Well, do they taking it to eight out down under? Jeez. A Waller trying to stop himself and goes straight into that steel cage with the drop kick. Kingston. And what now? It's looking like eight hand down under the ones on top of things. Jeez, I'm getting out of breath. I say, I feel like I say this a lot, uh, especially on pay per views, and especially the fact that these lot are fighting this is technically their third match now jeez oh Woods counter okay, yeah, yeah good uh, Kingston counters that one from Waller and now taking it to Fury he's trying to escape the cage for an electric chair jeez I don't think he realised that was on Woods though but kind of had the knee up so maybe I don't know whatever Waller takes down Kingston jeez on double combo to Kingston there now looking to do some damage to Xavier Woods. Gets it done so. But Kingston, he's fighting back. Oh, Kingston, no. Oh. Jeez. Maybe thought there was somebody behind him, but there wasn't one. I know Kingston is fighting out of it. Oh, Woods, he's trying to fight Waller, but Waller saw it coming. That suplex. And now Fury just stomping on the unprotected chest of Waller. Go for Kingston right there. This is for him now. Woods. Doesn't help that I'm seeing all four men on the screen at once. It's making the names infinitely harder. And fair play to Jessica Carr re refereeing each one of these matches. <laughs> Anyways. Wall it out. Oh. Woods got the block up. And now brings him up. Knee drop. Got done like a lung blower, single knee. Oh, the power by Fury there to Kingston. Oh, Woods gets an knee strike to Fury. But no Fury flying back. Woods, no Fury. Over oh, to the midsection. And Waller now bouncing Kofi uh, Woods' face off. As Kofi's going in for Waller, kicks the face. Waller. Oh, Co uh, Woods has gone into the cage, sorry. Kofi getting back to his feet. Fury, I think he's looking to try and join pursuit while War has basically gone to the top now. Can this be it? Quickly, can they escape? Yeah, again, I imagine they don't have to win by pinfall, maybe a plan by that. And that's something I haven't mentioned, I kind of just noticed. New Day picked the 2 on 2 tag match, they won. 
Eight hand under picks the tables match. They won. You know who picked the steel cage match? Eight hand down under. Could that possibly be the way that things are going to go here tonight? I won't do they change that pace. You're going to have to want to. Obviously, to get through, to, to stay alive and stay uh, 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 on Raw for a bit. Woods looking to escape. But keeps us not doing so hot. As Fury trying to stop Woods and Kings trying to stop it, but shout the testament by Fury, but not for so long. And now Waller and Kingston gets the drop here. Now sending Kingston into the corner. Fury, oh, the torture rack bomb. Kingston the drop kick. Gary, Wall and Pink, the Wood side are both back at the same time, pretty much. And now, twisted neck breaker thing, swing neck breaker, whatever. Theory, Woods locking up, both pushing away. But I'm very now sending Woods into the gauge there. Pink's are flying back on Theory though. But no Wall and I'll say, sorry, Theory, I'll say that to Waller. And then it's falling out, oh, Woods is back up, but Theory's fired off. Bulldog by Kingston. Theory. Cross leg. Patella. Mm, drop brain buster. Like Kingston just swinging away mm, ferociously. That's. Uh, I think. Uh, theory. I'm not sure if that ferocious is that between vicious and ferocious. I don't know. Anyways, drop kick now by Kingston. Splash. No fear. Gets the knees up. Wall gets out of the way of that one for Woods. Get the combo going. Jeez. Oh. Fury! Jeez, Owen Waller now too! Oh, but Woods is back to his feet there instantly! Jeez, okay, surely the adrenaline, the fact he does not want to lose this match. Fury, he's dropped back down. But Woods gets the kick! Oh, but I think he's taken out Kingston with him. With Fury, jeez, that was a hell of a kick though. Oh, Fury's bleeding, I think that cut that he got cut over earlier, that staples come out of his face. The same happens to Kingston, I don't know. Woods. Oh, look for that shot against the back of the head and gets it. Jeez. Oh, New, uh, new Day. They're both climbing the cage at the same time. But Fury's back to his feet, but he's only one man. He used to stop Kofi. And Kofi, he's trying to fly off. Maybe tell him Woods to go. As he sacrificed himself to try and attack Waller. But Woods to lost in Fury! Off the cage! Jeez, oh, but Warner now gets the run from Stunner to Kofi, but Woods fighting off Fear and Waller, sorry, yeah, off Waller. Jeez, sent on to Waller. And now Woods kind of bouncing off the cage a little bit there with the forearms. Waller feeling the effects. But I think Woods is trying to hold them off until Kofi gets back to his feet. Jeez, that rolled through for STO. Woods firing off. Fury. No, but Waller's trying to climb. Woods just swinging away. Kingston and Austin. No, the arm drag kicks the knee. Oh no. Fury. Uh, Waller, Kingston sorry, trying to attack Waller. There we go. I ran for every name until I got a little help. Jeez. These four men throwing everything they got. Oh, Woods, the military drop, the gut buster. Kofi with the chops. Oh, Woods, elbow drop to Fury as Kingston's climbing already. Woods telling Kofi to go. And Woods is looking to follow a pursuit. Kingston's climbing down. Woods. He made it to the top now also. Oh, he's climbing to the top. Wait, what, what is he doing this for? I don't know. Maybe he's trying to threaten those two. I think they only just realised. That's what Woods is looking for. And Fury's back to his feet. Oh, jeez. Woods. Well, Kofi's down. Now it's all it takes is Woods. Waller is regaining consciousness now. And he's just seen Woods slowly climb down. And Waller can see Kingston too. Waller knows it's over. Waller knows and Fury's only coming too. And the new day 
have won this match and finally, hopefully, can put A Town down under behind them after that three stages of hell match. And A Town down under are suspended until after the Rumble. Ooh, they done it. New Day have done it. Hopefully, maybe they can focus on that Raw Tag Tire now, but that's the very series is coming up too. But, jeez. New Day. Yes. Do they beat him twice in one night? Yeah, Kings has been rebusted open too. Well, I thought might might happen. But congratulations to New Day, and thanks so much for Fastlane. And I'll see you for Monday Night Raw. Ooh.